Brian Ashley, I'm 25 years old, I'm from Pasco, Washington, and I was invited to Hungry Generation by Solomita. When I came to church, it was, I was uncomfortable, it was overwhelming, um, but the more I came, I felt more, I was more comfortable being here, and it's, everybody here is welcoming. My life, my life before I came to church was, I started, I started using drugs and alcohol when I was 14 years old, and until, and used until I was 20, 25 years old. When I started using drugs at a young age, I, I went through, I went through life. Everything I did was about, was about getting high or drinking. Things would go, things would go good, and then they would take, and then they would take step. I would take steps backwards. I graduate. I still graduated high school on time. I went to college right after, or two years after I got out of high school. Had a full-time job while using drugs the whole time and it got it just got to the point where it was overwhelming trying to manage my life while using drugs and do all that so I quit going to school and quit working and that's when I got into meth and heroin my life got way worse from there growing up I never had any I had a, I had a father that was lived here in town he he was never in my life he wasn't he wasn't there to guide me through uh, life when I needed him when I needed him the most and so my my drug use got worse. It was the way I coped with everything. It was the only thing I it was the only thing I knew. It was the only thing I knew what knew to do. I was un, I was unhappy. I always I just always, I always had a feeling inside of me that I knew I was doing I knew I was doing the wrong thing, but I continued to do those wrong things because that's the only thing I knew. And then it was in t 2014. I went to treatment. I went to treatment two times in a year. The, fir the first time I got out. I got out and I continued to use, and then I ended up going back eight, eight months or so later, and that's when my life started to turn around. And uh, I had always, I'd always, I had, I had friends and I had friends that went to went to church, had religious backgrounds, but I never, I never really knew anything about it. The, se the second time I went to treatment is when I realized it. And I actually accepted the fact that I needed something, I needed a higher power, I needed something greater than myself that would help me, um, help me go through life more at ease. And before I, before I went to treatment the second time, I, I, I knew that I needed, I needed some type of help because my life, I was, unha I was an unhappy person and the drugs were taking over my life. And I had, in a month, with, within a month and a half span, I had, I, had OD, I had OD'd on heroin four times. One of which times, one of the times I OD'd, uh, luckily there were people around me that were able to bring me, bring me back, to, get me breathing again. And the time, and then I got a DUI and, um, I got a DUI because I overdosed on heroin um, while I was driving. When uh, the cops showed up, they, they weren't even, they didn't even think they were gonna have to book me into jail because when they showed up, I was pronounced I was pronounced dead. And the, ne and the next thing I knew is I was waking up and getting put into an ambulance ambulance, and I went to the I went to the, they took me to the hospital. It was a few weeks later that. I ended up going back to jail, and I was talking to the officer that took me in, and I was talking to him, telling him how I just got, I was just in there a couple weeks ago for a DUI because I overdosed on heroin, and he, and he was he was shocked because he remembered he remembered that, and he said that, that he asked me if that was you. He said that they Benton County didn't even think that they were going to have to book me into jail because. When they arrived, I was pronounced dead. It was from all it was from all that stuff that I, I had like a uh, some type of you know the spiritual side came out and the, the spiritual side came out of me just knowing that you know I overdosed four times and obviously and it wasn't obviously it wasn't my time to go when two of the times I had to get brought brought back. From then on, that I kind of decided to take a step forward and accept uh, Jesus into my life and, and just see, see what it was all about because I, I had no idea. 
since I've been coming to church and getting more involved with reading reading the Bible and just coming to church, it my life has been a lot better. I went from not being able to get a job just month just months ago, seeing you know no I, I didn't I saw hope, but I knew it was going to take a, I thought it was going to take a long time. Just just recently, um, I got a. I got my full-time job back. It's working for a, a family, my family's company, and that was that, to me that was, you know, that was a big step just because my is working for my dad, and he he basically gave up. He basically gave up on me because all of my past experiences, he, you know, there was no, nothing was ever changing. It was always going back to the same thing. I would try and get clean, and then I would go go right back. And so to me, it, you know, it's. it's it feels good to know that, you know, the most important people in my life, my family, see a difference in me, and um, especially, especially uh, my dad, because he wasn't a big part of my life, and it was we. There were times where we didn't speak for six months. There was a time where it was close to a year that we never spoke, and so it feels good to have that back in my life and I, I, I feel like a lot of it is due to me accepting Jesus into my life and being a lot more at ease and okay with things that with, with everything that goes on in my life everything that I had done before up to now it doesn't really it doesn't make a big difference I feel a lot more at ease now that I've been coming to church and accepting Jesus in my life because I know that my past is over with, and I'm able to move forward. And it, I just, I have been able to accept the fact of that that's not who I really was. Today, I'm getting baptized to show people and the public that I made a decision to accept Jesus in my life. And as a follower of Christ, my goals are to walk with the Holy Spirit. I'd like to help help people that don't think it's possible for them to have a better life, to, that, it, that, it's, that it is possible because of my past and, and it, just to be, an, to be an example that no matter what you do, uh, God forgives you for everything that you've, everything that you've ever done. And we are excited to see people's lives being changed for Jesus Christ. Amen. And this is what church is all about. Seeing people like Brian gives their life to Jesus Christ. And today publicly stand before the whole world to declare that I want to serve Jesus Christ with all my life. Amen. Are you excited church? Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Now Brian, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Now, based on your faith, confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Set me free.